Hello everyone and welcome to the Q2 PTZ Optics Partner Webinar. It's an exciting one for you guys today. We have some great news, including a product update, new product, 30X PTZ Optics camera, and a price change for NDI that we think you're gonna like. So we've got some great new products to announce, 30X PTZ Optics camera, uh, less than $2,000. We have some NDI, um, new IP streaming solutions. But today's focus is going to be more about sales. And we want to train our partner team, our channel, whether you're an audiovisual integrator or a broadcast engineer, on what are the great case studies, what are the use cases, where are we finding the most success selling and building live streaming systems. So we were thinking about this and we were wondering, hmm, how can we help our channel partners and customers sell more live streaming systems? And we thought, why don't we just go ahead and make the whole focus of the Q2 partner webinar, how to sell Mucho Mucho live streaming systems. And these can range from simple uh, conference rooms that are used for high powered webinars, all the way up to more advanced uh, multi-camera broadcast systems, YouTube live streaming systems. We're even seeing small businesses who are live streaming to Facebook uh, just to sell you know, jewelry or um, you know, furniture. I mean, the world of Facebook live streaming is going to all the small businesses, the world of professional content delivery for monetizing large events and broadcasts and product reviews and launches. We're gonna go over a lot of that today and we have all these new case studies on our website which we'll show you. But let's jump into our presentation and eventually we'll show you our official PTZ Optics booth layout on this lower third. All right, so we're gonna strike the lower third and we're gonna get into our presentation, the Q2 partner webinar. Every quarter, we're bringing you great advice. Tess and I lobbied to actually take over the Q2 <laughs> and the Q4 partner webinars because they're gonna be much more sales focused. The Q3 webinar? Well, the Q Q1 and Q3 will be more partner. All right, so that's how we're going to organize it. Great. Yeah. So we're on to Q2 and Q Q4. Q4. Yeah. So how to sell live streaming systems to your customers, your current customers, or maybe new customers. Um, here's a little look at the PTZ Optics booth. And it get, if you can get to NAB or you can get to Infocom to see the different live streaming systems that we have set up, it really gives you an idea of the different markets that we serve, whether it be retail businesses all the way up to Fortune 500s, whether it be education, whether it be sports, government. And we're going to go over some case studies that are going to show you guys real world examples that are in every small town, every state, every country, and every literally place in the world is starting to live stream. Yeah, we're really looking forward to the opportunity to meet some of you in NAB. So make sure you let us know in the chat if you're headed there so we can link up. So really quickly, we are a partner first company. We work with our partners, we deliver them leads, we uh, have a map policy to make sure that our partners can uh, really do well with our product line. We have turnkey systems, which I think are gonna be crucial, especially for the newer salespeople who are going out and trying to sell live streaming systems for their clients that are asking for them. Complete turnkey solutions, the PTZ Optics producer kit you guys are gonna love. And then for those more advanced systems, we have pro audiovisual integration, Crestron and Extron codes that'll help you with your integration of larger systems with control systems. So first I wanted to introduce everyone to our channel team. Matt Richards is really our partner manager and uh, he is working with you guys on a day-to-day -day basis to get you guys the leads and get you guys uh, the connections that you want. And then we've actually split up um, kind of the territories test. You want to kind of explain the differences here? Absolutely. Patrick is going to be uh, heading up the international department. So you probably are familiar with him if you are an international partner. Uh, moving on to the East Coast, we have John Reese, Reese, who's taken the lead there. And finally, we have William Goldie, who is in charge of the West Coast partnership. So we create a little map on the next slide, uh, just to give you a, just a brief idea. I put, <laughs> I put Pat up like here. That. Uh, he's just anybody international. He's multilingual and he has an international business degree from St. Joseph University in Philadelphia. So he's very well qualified for that job. And cultured. 
And very cultured. So be, uh, be sure to uh, look for their names as you're getting in contact with us in communication. And yeah, get to know them. They're all uh, here to help you. Split down the Mississippi. All right, so exactly. here are the types of customers that are buying live streaming systems. We're going to go over some case studies, and then we're going to really break down how everything connects and how to best find the right solution for your customers. So over here, you can see this is a very popular one in education, but also in corporate, these large presentation spaces. Yeah, definitely. Um, you'll see that in an auditorium where you need that those cameras that can zoom in and get a nice close-up view of the production. And we'll talk about how to set that up for your customers. Um, business, uh, well, let me go back real quick. There's three here. Um, businesses okay, are using these for video content. So to create content for their business. And then also a very popular one is like a professional interview. So if you're a business and you want to go out and re record a case study with a, a client, for example, or maybe your CEO would like to have a well-created um, video about a new initiative that he yeah, has. Yeah, very similar to what we do. And whether you would bring them in physically or virtually, both are great options. The other big one, and we'll talk about um, churches in the next slide, but Facebook marketing has exploded. Live streaming on Facebook is fairly new, but every small business has a Facebook page. They might not have a YouTube, they might not have a LinkedIn, but every small business across the country, especially in retail, they're all using live streaming now. And there's a huge opportunity to say, hey, you know, you're live streaming with your phone. How about we create a really professional production with a couple cameras? We've seen a lot of great success with this. Mm -hmm. And we've published some really nice case studies. In fact, so many case studies that we created a small business drop-down tab on our website if you go under case studies, and you'll see that there's a business improvement district, and there are government organizations trying to help retail businesses, especially in America here, to revive the local communities, and live streaming is working really well, and we're going to share some case studies on that. Yeah, businesses know that their audience is on Facebook, and a lot of times you've already identified who you're trying to reach, so it's a great place to continue building those relationships uh, through video marketing. And if anyone has any comments, this is a live stream, so we're happy to answer questions. Tessa's watching the chat. Everyone's we'll saying hi right here. now. It's so great to have you guys here. Thanks for joining. Now, a couple other types. So churches have been surprisingly large. I think that it ha started happening like two or three years ago, mm -hmm. and now every church wants to start streaming. It's justified. It's becoming normal. And it's almost becoming, hey, if we're not doing this, we might get left behind. The transition from churches to wanting to have a more digital presence to grow their congregation and reach out, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or other social media networks. Yeah, not it's only that, been... but those looking to uh, have a solution for overflow spaces as yeah. well. We've seen a lot of need for that. I'm glad you mentioned that because in later on in our presentation, we have a little connection diagram to show how to do overflow spaces, which is incredibly popular mm -hmm. for churches. So churches have a, a really big need for streaming, but also just audiovisual allowing people in the lobby or in the nursing home or in different areas to see the church service. And our cameras integrate really well with those audiovisual systems that they sometimes at least audio-wise already have in place. That's a very good point too. And that's, that's where sometimes, you know, uh, some of the people who are a little newer to streaming or getting these video production systems set up in a church, let's say, Tess is completely right. A lot of times they already have an audio board. They already have a bunch of microphones. And what they really need to do is maybe add a computer mm -hmm. and a few cameras. And now you can tie that audio board into a system and have a really professional video production on a budget. I think that's maybe one of the reasons you right, got the nail on the head there, Tess, of why it's been so successful for us. They Brownie just points. need a couple cameras to really have already got the microphones and everything. Now, uh, government has, is really popular, and uh, even a little, we've, we've seen local pressure from uh, constituents, from people in the local community saying, we don't want to go out and sit in the town hall meeting. Why can't you just stream it on Facebook and YouTube? And we've seen, uh, especially coastal communities, where a lot of the, play, uh, the people there are tourists and they're not there on the winter, let's say. Uh, the government has a responsibility to distribute their meetings and their public information to the world. And live streaming is a great way for them to do that, especially now that YouTube live streaming, Facebook live streaming is free. You just got to get the equipment, and that's where you guys come in. 
Finally, sports has been huge for us. This is a soccer match, but um, especially now, I'm not talking about the NFL here. Okay. Right? We're not talking about the the NBA. We're talking about K through 12, a lot high of school, college, college, sports, yeah. performance centers, even the Olympics um, are using these. So maybe cameras. we are talking NFL. Uh, well, you know, we're Maybe within the next few years. We've got the new 30X camera we're going to talk about. And for sports, hey, we Chris. are getting into some bigger. We are getting into the professional soccer leagues. Um, quick story about sports. Um, sometimes when, uh, if they're in the union, if they have to pay union camera operators, mm. um, they could be paying $50 an hour just to have a camera operator on each camera. With PTZ cameras, you can have four or five cameras with one camera operator, and the cameras themselves are paid for in the first game. So huge opportunities in sports. Keep that in mind, especially in Union City places. My comment cues aren't uh, working, but TVCon Musical says, I tried to set up a sporting uh, system for a basketball league. What are the options? Great. We are going to talk about sports soon. Um, I'm going to stick with the presentation so everyone gets um, a really good overview of what's new at PTZ Optics. And we're going to go into sports and all the, all the different ones we're talking about. We're going to go into more detail in just a moment. So our next slide takes us to uh, healthcare. Mm. Telemedicine is really blowing up. Um, now, unfortunately, a lot of the case studies with telemedicine, they're very private. Mm -hmm. So we only have one case study with the uh, hospital in California using these telemedicine carts. That's a PTZ optics camera in there. And the, one of the main reasons why they love the PTZ optics cameras is because you can put them on the network and the doctors can control the cameras remotely from anywhere in the world, uh, diagnose patients and increase productivity. Now, um, we are seeing explosive growth in this space. So this is the only case study we have to talk about on our website, but I can assure you that there are hospitals all around the world putting the cameras in. Yeah. And um, sometimes it's just, uh, like we have another uh, case study coming out soon, but there's just paperwork we have to get through to get yeah, it to the world. We've seen remote uh, consultation and uh, remote appointments uh, for those people who are far away from a hospital, we've seen live surgeries. Yes. And um, we actually do have photos of that somewhere. I know. There are we'll some photos of time. live surgeries. Um, and for we'll educational talk about the, purposes. And, we'll talk about the Facebook user group in a moment where some, some people are sharing that, and we are going to be getting more case studies to you. That's one of the big goals for us is today is to share the case studies. Uh, so we definitely want to share the case studies with you guys. Um, so also in the video communication space, this is a traditional space for audiovisual integrators, but education, we have distance learning, and then business, we have video conferencing. Very explosive spaces, not quite as explosive as live streaming, but um, very much uh, something we want to talk about today. Now, really quickly, this marketing campaign in the box, email partners at ptzoptics.com to get this. It has all the case studies, all the pictures, all the data sheets, Logos. all the manuals updated daily so that you guys can get the information to your customers on your website. And I just want to let you guys know that that's there. Wonderful. Quickly, all right, so now here's the, the cool new stuff before we get into the techie techie plug and play everything. New 30X cameras. We have two new models. What, new? Well, and the XX stands for the color. So I it's no either idea. GY or WH. GY for gray, WH for white. Okay. So these are two different color options. And uh, the difference being this camera has SDI, HDMI, PoE, live streaming, IP control, all the things that you love about our cameras. The NDI model has all of that plus support for the new tech NDI, which we've gone over in other webinars, so I'm not going to fully have the time to dig into what NDI is, but we'll, we'll be mentioning it, and I'm hoping that a lot of you guys are going to take our free course on the new tech NDI and learn about that product. Yeah, this is a highly re requested product from end users and customers, so we're really excited to be able to provide this now. Yeah, it's only been out for a couple of weeks, and there's already thousands of customers using it. It's shipping? Well, the, um, yes, the NDI cameras are shipping. Oh, I and, thought you meant the 30X. And the firmware upgrades. Okay, okay. Um, so I meant the NDI PTZ Optics <laughs> Both are actually product. two big requests, now, the, the 30X, 30X and the NDI Now, the is coming soon. That, you're going to have to email the partner team about that, but I know it's, it's in the pipeline to be shipping ASAP. 
Um, so new camera pricing for the NDI models specifically. Uh, we work directly with NewTek, the live streaming and broadcast company, on these camera models. So there's a 12X, a 20X, a 30X, a Z Cam model coming in at less than a thousand, and a 12X and a 20X. So a 12X Z Cam, that's new. Oh, seen that before. I didn't see that. So either. the cool thing here is that the pricing for the PTZs starts at just under 2K. We've got new products we, we don't even know about. I haven't even seen that one yet. And then um, the Z cams are starting at less than 1K. And that was the goal. We wanted to get less than 1,000 for the Z cams, less than 2,000 for the PTZs. We've done it. So. That is a really good price point to be at. And of course, we're supporting the partner channel throughout that whole distribution model. Now, quickly, I wanted to mention that all the PTZ Optics cameras can be upgraded via NDI, all the Gen 2 cameras and Z cams. So if you have customers out there who are saying, I'd like to upgrade my cameras to support the new tech NDI to have seamless integration with Wirecast, my live streaming software, or vMix, or my TriCaster, or I just want to be able to use multicast. Um, can't go into all the NDI details today because we have a lot of content to cover, but you can upgrade those cameras and it's a great way to make additional revenue on your existing sales that you've made. Now, what's new? Well, we've got a PTZ Optics Producer Plus kit, and this is really going to be the focus of today's broadcast. Um, and I have a little B-roll, Michael, I'd like to play in just a moment. It's already loaded up for you. But essentially, these are complete live streaming systems that have everything your customers need to start live streaming today with either one to two cameras or the Producer Plus kit, which can uh, support up to four cameras. That's pretty good amount of people that can serve the market with like less than $5,000 live streaming kits. Wonderful. So I got a quick little thing of B-roll. I wanted to show Tess and I out at a customer site using this system. Yes, we do have video content to support all of these products. The winner of the best restaurant in Westchester, PA at the Bartender's Ball recently and one of our personal favorites in town. So today we did a live beer tasting and drink mixing with their head beer drink engineer and it was a lot of fun. Let's check out the tech review. Oh, hey guys, just uh, mixing from our stream today. Let me show you the tech behind the scenes. So we live stream to Facebook, two Facebook accounts, and two YouTube accounts, because we live stream to the cloud. So we actually use Go Easy Live, and that's a, one of my favorite cloud-based mixing solutions, because we, when we got here to this restaurant, so that was just a little clip, wanted to show you guys it out in the wild. Tess actually did a great job, a really great job, on the producer kit setup video. So if you go to ptzoptics.com slash producer, it's like a five to six minute video. Something like that. It's a, a six step process to help your customers uh, set up and implement their producer kits when they do get them. So please refer to that. Yeah, that's a great place to learn how to set these things up. So just wanted to give you a little the sneak preview, a little, little, little show of, of what it's like to, for, for customers to set this stuff up. That was a restaurant uh, live streaming their seasonal. You think we should menu. share the troubleshooting guide? For NDI? For NDI. It's okay. available on ptcoptics.com slash downloads. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we can definitely share it in the, um, in the chat room too, maybe. I have it, so I was wondering, because oh, yeah, we perfect. were just talking Let's about that, so I thought maybe they would want to access that if customers were asking them any questions. Yes, we have a really great troubleshooting guide for NDI if, you, if any customers are asking Supported about us that. with. Um, all right, so I wanted to show off one of my favorite new PTZ Optics products slash solutions here is the iOS app blows my mind. It can control eight cameras, and I just wanted to show a live demo of it. Michael was using it to follow me around, which I love. Um, <laughs> but uh, let me go ahead and show it from the ceiling camera here. And I just want to show a quick little live demo. So here it is here. And uh, I'll quickly just show. So we've got Zoom. Uh, this is the Telestrator possibly on. If we can turn that on. I've got oh. Zoom here. So I can zoom in and out. There we go. So I've got Zoom. I've got Focus. And you can see it's locked right now, but if I turn that on, I can actually adjust the focus. I won't do that. Or maybe I will. Um, I can have eight different cameras. So I can swap from camera one to camera two to camera three and, and how, up to eight just by tapping. And I can have control of the camera. And I can also have these really nice taps 
Just what if you just need to go just a little bit? You could just tap. So I love this product. One of the things that's my favorite about it is that we now have the ability to set presets um, with focus control built in. So what does that mean? Well, let me zoom out a little bit. What we can do now is we could have the focus. Let's see, I'll focus on my head there. Okay. No gray hairs yet. <laughs> he dyes it. I dye it. And I can hit set one, save. And then I can change the focus. So it's focusing on the floor and hit set two. And now just by hitting the preset, it changes the focus. So that is really cool. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show there. So we've got that focus preset pull. I don't want to get too lost in the, into, the, into the, the functionality of the products yet. Today we're really talking about sales, so sorry. Just a cool feature. Okay, so Android coming very soon. Zoom and focus touch controls, really cool stuff. Important new features with the cameras, power over ethernet, the new tech NDI, wide dynamic range, dual streaming, H.265, and 1080p60, which is getting us into those larger broadcast um, sporting events. Absolutely exciting news, all of that. A lot of great new features, the focus control, we're listening to you guys, we're making these products better every day. Special shout out to Matt. Our engineer, our lead engineer, really been working hard. Wanted to quickly mention this before we go too much further, Mike, I have a web browser input for the user group that we can share because I want to take a second to talk about how valuable this is for our partners and resellers, especially if you're just getting started with learning how to do live streaming and video production. You're not going to become a video production expert overnight, but by joining our user group, you can see what customers are doing, see what questions they have, see what problems they're having, and potentially introduce yourself to local clients mm -hmm. in a community of people that need your services. And feel free to share that with customers who are looking for some help, inspiration, and so on. Um, check this out. If you scroll down to David Pierce's um, uh, post really quickly, just scroll down a little bit, and up a little. Oh, there. You got it. Oh, there's down. And then click, the, <laughs> click David Pierce's little circle of his face there. Yes. S watch this. It will show you all of the things he's ever posted. And I just noticed that David has posted a lot of cool stuff about, that's a three camera interview system. Um, Love it. Also, he's done some live streams in some auditoriums for the school there. There's a camera he has on a pole. And this is just one um, person from Toronto, uh, Ontario, uh, Canada. There are people all over the world posting and sharing. I just think if you're thinking, I want to get into this live streaming stuff, I think there's some potential here. I just think joining the user group is going to show you what people around the world are doing. And that's going to be a great push forward from, your, from an education standpoint. There's a lot of support offered there just from your peers who are experiencing yeah. the same situations and, and offering each other solutions and uh, some pointers. So um, I wanted to have a free download here. Uh, you can go to ptzoptics.com slash playbook. And there's a, there's a call to action on this one. Um, strategies for broadcast, live streaming, and video communication. So download this playbook. This is where we're going to spend the bulk of this presentation. Not going to be too, too boring, and hopefully I'm going to try to try to make this fun. But what we're talking about here are what is going on in this live streaming and broadcast market, and we're going to break it down what by happens? industry. Remove the slash on that link. Looks like the slash makes it oh, okay. 404. Got it. So it's just ptzoptics.com slash playbook. Correct. Got it. Broadcast quality made affordable is what we're talking about today. That is where we fit. Okay, that's where our products fit. For the broadcast market, for corporate, for education, house of worship, sales and marketing, sports, streaming, and value add. So let's talk about the broadcast market. So the broadcast market is starting to go through changes. Um, television, traditional cable television is starting to go away. YouTube, Facebook, social media, um, Netflix, streaming is becoming the big new word. And so for broadcast um, 
companies to, to do better, they need to reduce the amount of camera operators they have on staff with remotely controlled PTZ cameras. They can transition to an IP-based workflow to save on cabling and make their lives easier and have the optical zoom to have amazing image quality. I can't tell you how happy our customers are of our image quality. They love it, and it, when they're looking at like a Mevo live stream camera that's $299, and then they switch to a camera with real optical zoom, it's night and day. So you're going to have happy customers. In the corporate market, we're a little different. We're talking about increasing collaboration efficiency. How can we reduce travel costs? And a lot of times they're seeing profitability from live streaming their marketing. And we're going to talk a little about sales and marketing tactics because that sometimes is a new contact for you at the business that you're working with. You may be working with an IT person or an audiovisual person. You may want to consider reaching out to the lead salesperson or the lead marketing person and say, hey, you know, have you thought of considering using, creating a professional live streaming studio to create video content, which is so important. And I'm telling you, it's like a bell and they want help with it and they don't want to take on the responsibility of outfitting all the cabling and everything themselves. They want help from a professional integrator. There's cost savings by bringing, bringing video content creation in-house. I'm a big mm. proponent of that. If you are a business and you're paying an outside company to create all the videos for you, that is going to rack up bills. And very quickly, you could actually put in your own live streaming studio and it will start paying for itself. You can try, to, and one of the things I say is get a champion. Is there someone in marketing that can champion your video creation process, your live streaming initiatives, and create a show that no other company could really do except you um, and really help you stand out? So that's, uh, that's that there. Um, education, we have distance learning. We've done a little bit of that in our college career. It's been around for a while, but it's still really great. Learning management systems. We had a whole presentation on this a couple of weeks ago Yeah, called the Flipped Classrooms, if you've heard of these, where teachers are actually creating video content and having it available for the students to watch at home. Mm -hmm. And then when they come to class, they actually do the homework. Yep. And the uh, learning management system is a way to integrate the video content with tests and assignments online. Really yeah. cool. It's really fun, and, and that's leading for a demand for video content, whether they're Skyping in a guest with distance learning or they're creating video content, the teachers themselves, for their learning management systems. And they really want something that's flexible, and they, want to, they probably use multiple software applications, but they can want to be able to have a single camera that they can use, whether it's for distance learning or learning management, and the PTZ Optics cameras work well for that. House of Worship has been great. The number one thing you're going to find here is that Houses of Worship are working with a lot of volunteers. So they need it to be easy. Understandable. Um, so, you know, we can do that. We can give them a joystick controller for camera operation. We don't need to have camera operators all in the church, which would be a little bit imposing anyway for the people there to worship. Uh, to be able to have small little PTZ cameras that a single person can operate from a booth it really makes for a great production. And uh, they want to stay in touch with their entire organization and congregation. And some of those people might be traveling moms and dads. Yeah, maybe some elderly folks that aren't able to make it in. And maybe there's some younger, digitally hip media people who, if they saw what the church was offering on social media, would be wanting to go out there and, see, and, and it's learn It's a bit more. of a commercial as well. You can uh, have potential... Um, churchgoers, you know, get a taste of what your congregation is specifically like, and then maybe they will come in physically. Um, sales and marketing. So this is kind of, I believe, for a lot of us, a new untapped market where we can try to connect with highly motivated sales and marketing people, where we can create scalable promotions that uh, have initiatives that evolve, involve video. So if we can prove to a company that if they can create a video and share it on YouTube or Facebook and maybe promote it or boost it, that that turns into customers and leads. That's where we can talk to a salesperson and say, look at what this technology is doing for you. And we're seeing a lot of that today. And um, whether it's a webinar or a live stream, capturing leads, capturing leads by doing calls to action and talking to a sales and marketing person in their language, mm -hmm. in the language of, you know, uh, click percentages or, uh, you know, ratio conversions from visitor to sale. Uh, if you can talk to them in their language, in the salesperson or the marketing person's language, video content becomes a tool in their sales funnel. Yeah, and also for nurturing current 
uh, partners, just like you guys, and uh, current customers as well. Yeah. Great way to stay connected, updated. Um, so the streaming market is brand new. And what we're seeing right now is a huge market of small businesses and small studios and do-it-yourselfers. Mm -hmm. Now, the do-it-yourselfer market is great and they are willing to buy product from you. But there's the, another space above that, which is the streaming, co the companies that want to get into streaming but need help from an audiovisual integrator. So there's a gray area here, but it's incredibly explosive and large because of how much of an impact Facebook Live and YouTube are having on just the world in general. So um, one of the things that we can do is we can allow a single person to operate multiple cameras. So if that one person is on camera and he's a one person sales team, he could have two or three cameras and control them all right at the desk in front of him, for example. So there's a lot of tools for that. We've made a lot of videos and content about that, but they're interested in monetizing their content at some point, whether it be a service or a sale. And the purchase of live streaming gear at video production systems just helps them reach more people and get to their monetization goals faster. Finally, this is one that is exploding right now. Um, I believe that Facebook is spending over a billion dollars on live streaming sports just in 2018. Yep, that's one of their big pushes for this upcoming year. And when a company drops a billion on live streaming sports, <laughs> it's no joke. you know that makes a big difference. Now, what does so, that mean, I wonder? Where well, is that money going to? They're going to be purchasing licensing. So okay. they're going to say, you know, FIFA 2018, um, this game, this game, and this game can only be watched on Facebook Live. Oh, so people have to get Facebook wow. accounts to watch it. And that's their goal because they want to keep the platform active. Um, so they're going to buy a bunch of licensing, but it's all going to trickle down. And I think you'll see that once the world starts to think about watching t sports on social media, they're not going to start thinking about watching it on paid cable television. And there's going to be a swap. And it's really going to change the world. Uh, even even the esports market, the gaming market, all of these sports are just blowing up, and we're in a perfect position to really work well with this industry. We have 60 frames per second for those fast-moving balls and objects, a 30x camera when needed if you need to go all the way across a football field or something, and uh, outdoor camera enclosures, power over Ethernet, and great integrations with the top live streaming and broadcast companies. So this is a... a area where we're going to be spending a lot more time with you guys on in the future, but today we're just going to be looking at a few kind of stock core examples that you can go out and talk to your customers about today. Finally, there is some value add services, whether you want to add them to your own company or you'd like to um, help your customers do this, but you could add streaming as a service. So if you're willing to invest in a few PTZ Optics cameras, you could rent them to your customers, your customers, you could go to their uh, space and, and live stream an event mm, for absolutely. them. Absolutely. And that is becoming very popular. And I believe that that service will help you ha get more intimate uh, know your customers needs and eventually lead to larger sales and more opportunities with your customers so let's talk about some of the basic live streaming hardware that you're probably gonna your customers are probably gonna need so Tess and I right now are using microphones so we're using a DPA headset microphones these are headset microphones um, we are also using a USB audio mixer so these audio mixers, maybe if there's a church, maybe they already have an audio mixer, but um, that is something that they'll most likely be using. Here is the, my headset here. You can see uh, it's just a headset microphone. Nice mic. Fairly inconspicuous. Fairly inconspicuous. You, can, you might not even in, see it in some <laughs> broadcasts. Um, and then just really quickly, just going to go over some basic hardware just so that everyone's kind of up to speed. On our next slide, we have um, capture cards or frame grabbers. I still call them frame grabbers. Capture cards. Daryl, uh, are you still here? <laughs> some people don't like, like, like that. They like to call them capture cards. I call them frame grabbers because that's where I come from. But essentially, it takes He's an ancient. HDMI or an HDSDI video feed and converts it to USB. So you can run a 100-foot SDI cable to your camera all the way over here and then convert it to USB and plug it into your computer here. So that's essentially what allows us to bring the video from our cameras into our computers. Yes. 
Now, PCIe cards, these plug into to desktop computers, custom-built computers, and this one, for example, I don't know if you can turn my telestrator on, Mike, but this one has a um, Daryl's still here. Port. He <laughs> they're, caught you. Oh, they're not frame grabbers, they're capture cards. <laughs> um, you can put, plug four cameras in here, and uh, Magewell has really great solutions for that, I highly suggest. Then finally, video extenders. These are going to be crucial in a lot of different events. Uh, if you need to extend HDMI yes. or SDI. In or a other reliable thing. way. Yes, in a reliable way. We've had trouble with even 35-foot HDMI cables. <laughs> Until we got those Until little got uh, Magewell, Magewell extenders. That are helping so much. Uh, they have a HDMI equalizer, I believe it's called. But um, for video uh, extenders can take HDMI and go 300 feet over Cat5, Cat6. So something to know and use. You guys, I know, use a lot of that. Uh, document cameras help your customers zoom in. You saw we have an overhead camera. We're using a PTZ uh, camera for that. We're using that, a PTZ though. optics camera for that. Um, static cameras. Uh, we use static cameras a lot. They're less expensive than PTZ cameras, uh, but still allow you to get that shot. And then obviously PTZ cameras. It's, it seems to be the place people start is the camera, but we're trying to help you understand there's a lot more than just the camera. That Maybe you're the computer should be the uh, starting point. It really should. And the software. You know, you start mm -hmm. there and then you figure out what you're going to connect to it. But you do need the cameras to figure out the software, right? You need to be so able to see. <laughs> and you got to have a big, a big overall plan for some of these. Now, hopefully some of the systems are going to be more simple. That's what that's we're all we're for, to about. guide them through that process. Um, really quickly, so streaming software, I didn't put any things here, but there's Wirecast, there's vMix, there's XSplit, there's the TriCaster, OBS is a great free one. Um, so you're, you're probably going to have some type of streaming software, and then there's hardware for controlling the cameras. Uh, this is an IP joystick, which goes over the Ethernet, RS-232, which uses hardwired um, serial cabling, which is ultra-reliable and no IP address needed to set up, very simple, plug and play. Um, so We'll give you some choices there as well. So let's talk about a couple quick examples in the broadcast market. So here's a four camera system using a TriCaster Mini. And TriCaster Minis are really, really popular. This is an HDMI version. They also have an SDI version. So essentially each camera plugs into the TriCaster Mini. There's four of them. And then we're just going to use a serial joystick for control. And we're going to daisy chain control from one to the next. So instead of having to run four separate cables, home runs, as you may know, know them, we're just going to daisy chain the control and just use like one chain of control for all of our joystick controllers. Uh, you can see the TriCasters plugging into a live view. Uh, those things can save the day. Uh, we're going to be using one at NAB. This uses cellular data to broadcast directly to YouTube and Facebook. So if you were at a soccer field or somewhere without internet access, the stream can still go on. Here's another example here. Now we're using the Wirecast gear, and this time we're using HDSDI. We've got three cameras connected via HDSDI, and this time we're using the IP joystick. So we're connecting over Ethernet to a Ethernet switch, and each camera is also being powered over Ethernet and connected to that Ethernet switch. So the Ethernet switch is actually connected to your computer. Let's pretend what event we're at for this. Okay, so let's say this is a concert. A concert. Yeah. Okay, so a medium-sized venue. Medium-sized venue. We're not cameras. talking arena, but not maybe arena. like no. a uh, like the Fillmore or something. Yeah, something you know, 100 by 100 max. Of course, now that we have the 30x, we might be able to go larger. I can't wait to use that in some of these events. We've also got a smartphone app, which again we looked at that. Really, really powerful. And we're using Wi-Fi so that we can control, we can have somebody sitting next to us with just a smartphone to help out with positioning the cameras as the band moves, for Do you have an estimated budget for this type of system? Well, we've got three PTZ Optics cameras that are $1,600 each, so we're at $4,500. Unless we go with a producer kit in this type of scenario, which You're might right. be Could save some money. close to ten grand. Yeah, I'd say so. And we're going to be looking at the producer kits in just a moment, so let's keep rolling through. Um, just giving everybody kind of basic examples, and then we'll spend a good bit of time on the, on the producer kits. So in education, things can actually be quite simple for the teacher. Um, if we look at this next um, slide, you can see here, all we've got is one USB cable to the computer. So we're using our 12x USB. 
That makes it so simple for the teacher because all they got to do is plug in one USB cable for video, maybe one USB cable for a microphone, and now they can go ahead and record great stuff on their learning management systems. Now we've got a little showing here that you can actually stream directly from the PTZ Optics cameras to um, your live streaming event if you wanted to. But I think in education, I think that they're just recording video, having the ability to zoom in and show things in more detail, and then putting that on Kaltura or Moodle or Blackboard or their, um, their learning management system. Now taking that idea and adding a second camera, maybe we want to have an overhead camera for the teacher. Maybe we want them to be able to show documents from above and be able to, to zoom in. So all we've done is just added a second USB camera. They've got extra USB ports on their computer, and then they just use a software like OBS, Wirecast, VMix, Zoom, GoToMeeting, Adobe uh, Connect, any of the video conferencing softwares to switch between those two cameras. Here's a more, ex uh, more advanced education system. Maybe this is in the auditorium. This is in a bigger space, but it's still similar. This time we're building a custom PC with a PCIe card, and you can have custom PCs built for you. Um, and they all plug in via SDI to the switcher. We've got an IP joystick for control. All that's going over Cat5 over a PoE switch. Now, House of Worship is, has a lot of uh, interesting applications here. Um, and this stuff is going to get a little repetitive because it is the same type of technology, just in different locations. Mm -hmm. uh, but here we're showing, um, this is a popular uh, setup for a, um, for a church. They can run HD SDI a couple hundred feet because it's a big church and they need to get the camera extended away from the computer far. Um, so we can do, a lot of times what's happening now, this is an older wiring diagram, is you can just run one Ethernet cable to a switch and have it go power over Ethernet over the new tech NDI and bring in cable cameras that way. A lot of churches are doing that now and streaming to some of these specialized streaming uh, church streaming services like churchstream.tv. Um, same thing here. A little except, more complicated. Uh, three cameras instead of one. Definitely using power over Ethernet. We're still use showing SDI here. It's still really popular. It's a great backup. But now with the new tech NDI, we could be using just Ethernet. We know with live streaming, issues can happen. So having backup is uh, of utter the most important. Let's skip this one, Mike. Okay, so sales and marketing the really quickly. This is a one of my favorite ones. This is that new market that I feel like a lot of integrators aren't tapping into just yet. Um, here, it's just a computer. It's just a salesperson bringing in their laptop, mm -hmm. plugging in via USB for the camera, USB for a maybe a nice headset, audio microphone, and sitting down and creating a video for a client or creating a video on a new product or feature that they can upload to or YouTube. Or a how-to video on their product. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. So many options there. So that's just a simple Exactly what we do every week. This is the way I started. Now, we have eight cameras in this studio. It's a little insane, but this is exactly <laughs> what we started with. It. And if your customers want to start with something ultra simple, they'll find out sooner rather than later that two cameras is better than one, and it will grow. Oh, it's great for freelancers as well. Super easy. Now, here's an even easier solution, which I really love. If the camera is just plugged into the Ethernet, just Ethernet. We can do power over Ethernet. We can run video over Ethernet. We can actually plug one of these Rode microphones into the audio jack of the camera, video and audio, and we can connect to any computer on your network. Would it just appear as a webcam? Just appears as a computer on your webcam. That's using the new tech NDI. -HX we see this driver. as a great opportunity in the video conferencing space. Yeah, that's going to be incredible. And uh, it's, si it's using multicast, so more than one uh, computer can connect this to it This is a different once. way to be thinking about the possibilities with NDI, NDI, HX. It's Certainly. really cool. And now let's talk about sports. So in the sports area, um, which we're going to be well, focusing on quite a lot in the, in the coming months, um, we can see that we're, we have some outdoor camera enclosures made by DotWorks. So a lot of times they want to have a permanently installed outdoor system. Um, that gets a little bit more complicated. A lot of universities oh, with, yes. with that one. Especially in the Midwest where they have like mist and fog and stuff. Mm -hmm. They get these, these heater blower with, kits with those, in there uh, so that it can the elements. blow the air out so it doesn't condense. Condensation doesn't mm -hmm. go around the lens. 
Um, but you can definitely do that. And then same stuff as we've talked about earlier, maybe SDI, maybe Ethernet. Um, this is a cool one. This is a little advanced, but we do have a case study on this, and it does definitely work. If you have a camera that you want to be a thousand feet away, let's say, for example, Ooh. you can use uh, ubiquity the prep spin does wireless this, huh? antennas. Yes, and now and so does William at University. This is going to help Christopher, who asked a question earlier about uh, Wi-Fi and the PTC optics cameras. And Christopher Sabato from the Willamette University is, is doing a case study with us too. He can have a camera in center field in the baseball field and then use these wireless antennas using the new tech NDI to transmit the video in low latency and stream, control Sick. it with an IP joystick. It's really cool. <laughs> but that's Speaking kind of out. advanced. Uh, well, let's, 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 uh, but it's possible. The possibilities are there for your uh, more technically adverse, yeah. diverse. Inclined. Inclined customers. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the deals and the registration, and I got some wrap-up slides. For potential for, partners? For potential partners. Okay. And I will say that um, it's now would be the time to start as asking questions in the chat because we're going to try to answer all your questions. So if you go to ptzoptics.com. We are doing a giveaway, too. Slash deals. Oh, we're doing trivia. All right, <laughs> oh, let's do trivia. Let's do trivia. You guys want to do, do some trivia, trivia? Mike? Right, so if you trivia. want to participate in trivia, because the winner of trivia, right, yes. this isn't a gleam thing, mm -hmm. is going to get uh, one Yay. of these. Go ahead. Right. You can go for it. The PTZ Optics hat. <laughs> and let us know Ooh. if you're coming to NAB, because we can just so, bring it there. So put StreamGeeks.live the in, the, in the chat. Everybody head so everybody to www.streamgeeks.live to sign up, sign in, so and participate in today's trivia to win a PTZ Optics hat. We're going to be rocking these at NAB this year in a few days. Matt D., we have one for you, bringing it. Yep. <laughs> so go to streamgeeks.live. I think Tess put it in the chat, right? I did. So this is where you can go to enter the, to do the trivia, and someone's going to win a hat. We just want to test your knowledge, and uh, we'll go over uh, some Remember, of Remember, uh, if you are interested in becoming a partner, to head to ptzoptics.com slash deals. Uh, sign up, sign in, and we will be in contact with you shortly. The partner team will. It's All time right. for some fun stuff here. So question number one is coming at you guys. We're at streamgeeks.live to participate in the trivia. Question, Cumero numero uno. <laughs> what time does live streaming idiots go live every day? You kept this one, huh? Uh, that's question 10, but yeah, I guess so. Question 10, what time does streaming idiots go live? If you uh, hopped on to yesterday's show, you'll know this one. What time is streaming idiots? This is kind of a, a funny one. Yes. Wow, that looks like the AT&T bar. That's like my Wi-Fi signal like the right Wi -Fi there. Signal. <laughs> Sorry that about was kind that, of a curveball. Let's, let's, um, let's go to the next question. That's a curveball question. I apologize. Um, yes, it's not my fault this time. That's not your fault. Let's go to question number one if we can. I'm not sure how it got to 10. We might not know how. Just hit, hit, hit uh, that. Let's go for it. And there. Okay. All right, we're on All question right. one. There. What <laughs> cable is included to be used for video in the PTZ Optics producer kits? What cable uh, that you see listed here is included in our kits? For video. For video. So the PTZ Optics producer kits. Is this a trick question? No. For the P producer plus kits? Either one. HD SDI. Yes, that is HD correct. HD SDI. Ding, ding, ding. Akeem. Akeem's in first. So there's no Ethernet cables included um, in the kits? No. There's no Ethernet cables. In, okay, because you could upgrade them to NDI, but they don't actually come in NDI with exactly. NDI HX. Yes. HX. All right, question two. Are the Z-CAMs NDI HX upgradable? Are any of our Z-CAMs NDI HX upgradable? Yes, we did cover this. Hmm, hmm, we did. 
There's a, a Z cam with a tally light on top from our old studio. Added some cool pictures. There's <laughs> that guy, NDI HX, owned by New Tech. It is. Sure yes. is. Great job, everybody. You got that one Great right. Great job. Woohoo. All right. Akeem in, Akeem in the lead. Okay, Q3. All right. What type of cable can be used for camera power, PTZ control, and video? HD, SDI, RS-232, Visca, or Ethernet? We touched on this as a cool feature. Fairly new, new enough. <laughs> Let's see, majority rules here. It is D, Ethernet cable. Our cameras are power over Ethernet. No. You can control with the IP joystick. And the you can now. HD, SDI. What? Not Ethernet. It was Ethernet. Uh -oh. Shoot. Just move on. Move on. Uh, Sorry, oh guys. That uh, was, everyone should got that one wrong. Should have got that one right. Okay. Well, I'm here's sorry. the thing. Nobody got it right. that right. Yeah, wrong. So that was yeah. kind of like it didn't count. Yes. Uh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Wow. I was rushing through this. What is the maximum camera zoom now available with PTZ optic cameras, or should I say, soon to be available? We announced this, very exciting, highly requested feature. Matt Davis has been working his butt off, and we're bringing it to you. Brand new PTC Optics camera. <laughs> sure haven't achieved 40X Ooh. yet. 30X. Paul. Oh my gosh, I have messed this up so bad. Were you having like whiskey for breakfast this morning? <laughs> oh my goodness, I have screwed this up so bad. Oh dear. All right, so that was another one that didn't count. Let's see. He's trying to play a joke on me messing up yesterday, I think. Okay. <laughs> Which PTC Optics camera has the widest field of view? I hope I get this one. Of right. these cameras 12x, 20x Z cam. Z cam variable lens or the 30x SDI camera soon to be coming out. Which camera will have the widest field of view? Wow, I'm so sorry, guys. I, I was uh, doing the presentation. <laughs> you don't even want to see. Time. Matt said, Paul, you're on a serious roll here, buddy. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> All right, please tell me I got this one right. Yes, that is the right answer. He is so the happy that he remembered that one. Um, so sorry, guys. That oh, dear. Up. Okay, Akeem is holding strong in first place. All right. Moving on. Where is the PTZ Optics knowledge base? The place where our support staff can be located and accessed, as well as a ton of, you know, no pun intended, knowledge articles and information for you about our products as well as uh, you know upgrade upgrades updates i need to go back to school he's he's upset about this it's all right paul we all, all right. make mistakes the correct answer should be, I be mistakes yesterday. help PTZ optics please tell me i got it, it right. is help.ptzoptics.com yes yeah. i'm like here quizzing myself to see if i got these right oh yeah yeah this is Do you have a price on the 30X yet? <laughs> yeah, we talked about it. I well, think it was $17.99. Maybe $18.99. Matt is in the chat if you want to correct us. It was in the presentation. Okay. John T. taking the lead there. Go, Question go. number seven. Who is our West Coast partner manager? Is it Matt Richards, Margaret Will <laughs> no, Wildman? Sorry, Margaret. John Reese or William Gold? I don't know anymore now that I've gotten so many Who wrong. is our West Coast right. partner manager? Hey, hey, hey. Now, this is kind of tricky because one of these uh, folks is on the West Coast, but they're technically just our partner manager in general. One of these is designated to just the West Coast. <gasps> yeah, there's some, the yeah, that was a savage question. Savage question. The correct answer should be William Goldie. Is it? Is it gold or Goldie? Goldie. William Goldie. Yes! Yay! I'm going to meet William in, in person for the first time. Fun William fact. William is on his way to days Las here. Vegas right now. No, I wasn't here that day. All right. All right. One last question. 
Looks like John's going to get the hat. <laughs> uh, I remember there's two more. Cumero numero eight. Who is our East Coast partner manager? Is it Matt Richards, John Reese, Patrick Kirby, or Margaret Willman? I'm like pacing 30X now. is 1979. Thank wow. you, Patrick. They're saying you need some more sleep, Paul. I think I do. <laughs> hmm, who is in charge of the East Coast? Ding, ding, ding. It, it is be my John friend Reese. and coworker, JC John Reese. Yes. All right, last question, because we already did number 10. <laughs> Goodness. Anonymous. Ooh, that's, that's anonymous in, in the lead. One more question. One question to rule them all. What hotel is the JVNA pre show event at? This is the NAB pre show. Uh, we didn't actually mention that this we in are this attending at NAB. We spoke about this quite a few times this week. So hopefully you caught that somewhere. If not, take your best guess. What hotel is that event at? Maybe some of our partners will be attending. Let us know. We'd love to see you there. Math is $17.99 on the NDI camera, or the 30X camera. Partner. Pardon me. Oh, SLS. You SLS, guys got it right. and that is correct. Super the lucky JBNA spin. event is at the SLS. And who does that put as our winner today of the PTZ Akeem. Optics hat? Akeem. Akeem gets the PTZ Optics hat. Congratulations. Sweet. Thanks, Akeem. Congratulations. Thanks so much, guys. Mike, there was a couple final little slides. Um, I'm going to try to roll through. Yeah, just a couple because I think they were kind of important. Um, any questions, you guys let us know. Sounds like a lot of you guys. Yeah, there's a couple questions that were addressed. Luckily, our partner team is in the chat. Uh, so thanks for helping out with those. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, so we really went over just like sales stuff today, but there's just a couple quick like things I wanted to at the end of the presentation. Um, we really just covered sales tactics for you guys. I hope it was enjoyable. Uh, we talked about the demand. If nothing else, you got to see us uh, Completely fumbling the quizzle, and the messing up the quiz. So. so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just That's those, a, one thing about live two streaming. More, two more Perfection is near unachievable. It's all about the process. Hello? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. <laughs> We've got 7,364. John wants to see more questions for overseas and European all right. Friends. Okay, that's a good idea. Or, or understandable questions. What was the price range with NDI on the 30X? Um, yeah, and remember, we are headed to Mike, NAB. Can we just show the presentation? There was uh, just a 2018 really quick, in Las Vegas. The, 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 the PowerPoint presentation? We'll be there all week. Our booth is C9945. I'll put there was that in the chat. just a couple slides. We're in the Central Hall this year, so we're going to have over 20 live streaming remember cameras. Remember we were going over the Google Slides? Most uh, streaming softwares that I can think of and some hardware solutions as well. We're going to be exhibiting NDIHX. We're going to have our PT broadcaster. Here we go. Okay. So you guys, want, go we, we, this is what we ended with. PTZoptics.com slash deals. 10K minimum, but we want to protect our dealers with a deal registration program. Um, all of our SDI cameras are coming with PoE. Just really quickly, we'll just go through this. The Z cams, perfect addition to any PTZ system. They all have... Uh, can be upgraded to NDI, and they all have PoE. We love our 20X Z cams. We use them in every show. The producer kits, really quickly, we hardly mentioned these. There's a 12X, there's a 20X, and then there's the ability to add additional cameras with 100 feet of cabling, SDI, and RS-232. Here's a quick application diagram. As you can see, it's SDI to the computer with a Magewell frame grabber, RS-232 for PTZ control, no networking knowledge needed, no IP addresses needed. This is for those retail spaces, those small businesses. Oh, we added a second camera. All we did was <laughs> add a second camera, 100 foot of SDI cabling. Those of you in RS production know that can Daisy add a chain. heck of a lot. <laughs> and yeah, from production quality, it's really great. Now, camera control. Here's the joysticks. We can throw through that. No big deal. Don't forget, uh, new all of our cameras, cameras come with an IR remote. Hoping you guys got a chance to, to learn about that. Don't have time to go into it in full detail. Um, finally, the playbook. We talked about that. ptzoptics.com slash playbook, where you can download this, share it with your team. Uh, skip that. And that's Pat. That's John. That's William. We've got a handsome bunch of employees here. That's Andy from Tech here. Support. 
We've heard that Sean from Tech Support. Yeah, we just have to stop and give them some credit yeah. for um, all the amazing support that they've given, uh, especially with the release of NDI and having the responsibility on customers and end users to uh, to uh, go through those license key upgrades, firmware upgrades. They've been amazing. So um, just know that they have your back as well. Yeah, it really they 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 are just so amazing. We can skip this one. We can skip this one. Uh, just schedule a meeting with us at ptzoptics.com slash NAB. Uh, if you're going to Vegas, I think that's everything. Sorry, there was just there was a couple of things. The user group, we talked about that. Um, so that's everything. Thank you. That's our show. It was a full hour almost. We love you guys. Lots of good stuff to share with you. So, so. much fun. Hope to see many of you in person next week. Congratulations, Akeem. You have won a PTZ Optics <laughs> hat. And that's our show. We'll see you in Vegas. I'm done here. I'm heading on a plane and going to Las Vegas. Leaving on the jet plane. I don't know when he'll be back again. But... Sometime for the show. Bye, everybody.